All right, thanks for finding us here on YouTube. This is the Fox 26 tropical update just for YouTube. We get some time to really dive into everything and really discuss into detail what's going on. And just so we're all clear on what day it is, this is Saturday, game six of the World Series, and the Astros could win it all tonight. So this is being recorded before game six. And we'll see what happens. But again, we're back here in Houston and excited about that. And I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about the tropics real quick. As I mentioned, we get to spend a little bit more time talking about what's happening out there here when we're not in a newscast. And this large red area is going to be the majority of our discussions. But I'm going to start with the other area that's happening out right now with the National Hurricane Center. There is uh, more or less in the central Atlantic. There's a, a spot where the Hurricane Center is, uh, is taking a look at giving it a 40 to 50% chance of development. That's 40% chance over the next two days and then three to five days, a 50% chance that this could develop into a tropical cyclone. And so we'll see how this all kind of works itself out. Uh, and what will impact this area as well as this area is going to be the passage of cold fronts that will be kind of moving on through. And we'll kind of see a little bit more into that as we get a closer look. So the area of low pressure uh, right now is more or less down in the Caribbean, but it would be expected to be a little bit further north and into the Atlantic as we talked about this large red shaded area here is where the development could be taking place. And right now the National Hurricane Center is really boosting those odds, those chances up a little bit with the probability at 70% chance over the next five days and a 40% chance even over the next two days. And what I'd like to do right now, and normally I don't really start showing a whole lot of models until we have a bit of confidence in them and also a bit of an agreement in the models. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and show you the GFS model. And we're just in the time of year, though, when some of that confidence uh, overall uh, just sort of becomes a little bit less. So I don't know how much longer I would have to wait before I had a lot of confidence in any of this models, uh, unless they were just in complete agreement. Now, I'm going to show you the GFS or what we've known a lot, uh, widely as the American model. Uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the European. Well, I'll just do it right now and just basically say I'm not showing you the European model now, uh, but I will say that it as far as the direction uh, and the path of what potentially could develop is very similar to the GFS, but the intensity level is quite a bit of a difference. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So remember always kind of keeping an eye on our time frame of where we're looking at again today, November the 5th, Saturday, game six of the World Series. We're going to move forward in time now to where we're into Tuesday. This will be election day if you're keeping up with things in the United States and you can see this low pressure develops, as I mentioned, up into the Atlantic. And what's interesting at this point, though, is the direction that this would take. I think sort of naturally, if you just kind of took some guesses on what this would do, you would kind of think maybe it would start kind of meandering a little bit further over to the north, but you see this flow of these arrows here, it's going to help kind of steer it a little bit. So again, a low pressure system uh, at the moment, it would be unclear if it was tropical on what that would look like, uh, would not be expected uh, to main, to make it up to a hurricane strength, but certainly could be a tropical cyclone in the a tropical depression stage or even the tropical storm stage. Again, it's a little far out and I normally wouldn't even be showing you a model like this, but it's just kind of something I think that we're close enough to this with just being a few days away that we can go ahead and kind of look at it a little bit and then watch again. Watch what the track is not going to be headed to the north. It's almost going to take a due westerly path as it rolls across. Florida and then once it gets it to the Gulf of Mexico, did you see how it took a little bit of a jog up? Now we're down to Friday, so this is the end of next week. So whatever's going to be happening here for Florida, wherever it might be, so we're not going to get real pinpoint on exactly where in Florida we're looking at here, but this is going to be at the end of the week. So we have a couple days to still be watching this and we're definitely going to be kind of keeping an eye on things as we continue to move through the weekend and then watch what happens here. This is going to run into 
a front and the front is going to push it up into the northeast. Uh, and that's really even what happened when it was down a little bit further uh, to the south here. And then it began that northerly track. It's going to kind of begin its exit and kind of move on out uh, and probably get torn up and not really even keep its tropical uh, cyclone characteristics uh, for very long. So after taking a look at that again, the European model fairly similar track of where this thing would be going and the time frame that it would be going, but the intensity level, meaning it's not nearly as strong of a system as what we're seeing the GFS show or the American model. So uh, again, the, the, it's a little unclear ex exactly what would develop, not expecting a hurricane, but it could be just uh, a tropical storm that's very weak, could be a stronger tropical storm. Uh, it could just be some gusty winds with a tropical depression with some rain as well. So as we know, it's not all about the winds, but we can look at some other threats that go along with that. But it is definitely concerning the winds when you start labeling things as whether it's a depression or a cyclone or those sorts of uh, labels that are put onto things. So as I mentioned, uh, I will be showing you that European model tomorrow. So if you're continuing to view with us, make sure you check in on Sunday afternoon as well. Next name on the list is going to be Nicole, by the way, if you're keeping track, if this were to develop into a name system. And again, it would have to be developing before that other system we would call that. Hey, I hope you're following me on social media. If you're not, here's your chance at John Dawson Fox 26. I hope you are rooting for the Astros. And if you're not, well, here's another invitation. Find me. Tell me who you are rooting for if you're not rooting for the Astros, and it'll give me the opportunity to share my thoughts with you as well of who you should be rooting for. Again, at John Dawson Fox 26 Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another tropical update.